Hey, hey, it's me, Eric. Gonna do a replay of Overworld here that I just, of a game I just played, The Assassin. So I'll go see last game. It's gonna be pretty quick, so I'm gonna try not to talk too quick, but here I am. Pick off the human. May as well see what's in the hut. Gotta make some early gains. Surprise cave person. <laughs> Neanderthal. Uh, reservoir quest. Gotta get the water to him. Sacrifice the cucumber for speed. Uh, this is the new quest. This is the whale quest. Oh, that was a mistake. I was trying to dig for gold and I accidentally flooded the tile. Lost my scroll. So the whale's quite dark inside. Quite unearthly, as you can see. What's this enormous whale doing here? I'm swimming around in its guts. Very Final Fantasy homage here. One of my faves. Ooh, the eyes. <laughs> There's Jonah. This guy gives you the compass to follow. Got so many keys kicking around, I can open more of these sphincters. And this is funny, I noticed I didn't pick up the ball and chain when I opened the chest. I have to decide if I want it, because usually when you walk over something and you have room to pick it up, you pick it up, which is kind of the, the thing with cursed items, like the ball and chain, you'll pick it up and be like, oh no. Surprise cave person again. So I went invisible here just to lose him, I think. Climb up. Or I had time to climb up, I guess. Anyway, this gets interesting. So I once they've spawned and you use your smoke bomb, everything on the map loses tracking of you. So you're kind of hidden anew from everything. It's a pretty powerful skill, actually. Maybe OP. The assassin's pretty cool. Get into the shop to see what they have. A handy shield that'll keep me alive. And what do I decide to do here? I do take one in. That's a big hit to your score. You want to try to make it back to the gatekeeper yourself if you can. Burn the scroll of home just for fun. And this wasn't that too crazy a game, but it was fun. They're all pretty fun, I find. So quick and easy. Overworld. Boom.